Hey everyone, First Order here, and in this video, we are going to talk about four Legends characters that almost made it into canon. Now, if you want me to do a top five video on top five characters that should become canon again, comment down below if you want that or not. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. At number four, we are coming up with the most recent confirmed almost made into canon character, and that is fan favorite Star Killer. Recently, in a Twitch stream, Sam Witwer, voice actor slash actor of Starkiller, said that in preparation for Star Wars Rebels Season 1, they were in talks about bringing Starkiller on as an Inquisitor. At the end of the day, they said that it couldn't be worked out due to his story not fitting well with what they wanted to go with with the main protagonist of the story, the Ghost Crew. Now, that's all they said. So could Starkiller might possibly replace the Grand Inquisitor in the show for Season 1? Or could he have just been another random Inquisitor? Later down the line, who knows. But a part of me is glad, though, that they did not make Starkiller an Inquisitor. Because Starkiller is Darth Vader's apprentice. He's not an Inquisitor. So if you're going to bring him into canon, bring him in properly. Not just shove him in wherever you can. Number three is, well, it's not really a character. It's more of a species. And that is the Yizong Vong. Hardcore Legends fans will recognize the Yizong Vong as the main antagonist for the Star Wars The New Jedi Order novels. They were essentially an uh, entire species that came in from a different universe to conquer the Star Wars universe and to basically convert everything into a Yizong Vong. Not much is known how they were going to be brought into canon other than one which is pop up in the Clone Wars. In 2015 Star Wars Celebration, they had a Clone Wars untold stories panel where they went into Dave Filoni's sketchbook and in one page it showed a Yizong Vong. They didn't go into much depth into how they were going to bring it in but all they hinted at was that during a mission they might see a Yizong Vong scout just walking around and then flee because they did scout this universe first. They did send individual Yizong Vongs into this universe to look and see how this universe could be and how they could invade it, which that would have been a Yuzong Vong scout. Anyway, let's go on to, well, three and four. It's kind of a duo, and one is canon, but this is like the original version of him. Anyway, Darth Revan and the original Darth Bane. I say the original because Darth Bane is canon, but his appearance is different, but this is the original Darth Bane. Same look, everything. Anyway, this would have appeared during the Mortis arc in Season 3. The sun would have gone into the volcano lair that he does, and he would approach and just start talking to the wall. But then a voice would respond, and then the sun would eventually get frustrated and ask who he's speaking with. Then they would show themselves as ancient Sith Lord Force Ghost, Darth Revan, and Darth Bane. If only this made it in. We would have had Darth Revan into canon. Just think about that for a second. Darth Revan in canon. <sighs> All of these are missed opportunities. The only one that I wouldn't have wanted was the Starkiller one because I don't want Starkiller as an Inquisitor. The Yizong Vong, if only Disney waited another year to buy Star Wars, we would have had in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. And if they decided to put Darth Revan in the Darth Bane scene into the Clone Wars episode, then we would have had Darth Revan into Star Wars canon. It's kind of disappointing that we didn't. But hey, it took them what, like 30 to 25 years to touch on pre the Phantom Menace story arcs in the Star Wars universe originally? So who knows? Eventually, they will talk on pre the Phantom Menace content. But for now, they're sticking to the original era. And then probably this in between episodes 6 and 7, then prequel, and then the Old Republic. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, blast a like, and all that good stuff. And if you are new, why don't you subscribe? For all things Star Wars, out of the four, which one would you want to be canon the most? Leave your thoughts down below. This is the First Order, signing out. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear!